congratulations. That emotion, that celebration, and there's that nine months of frustration all coming out at once. Probably think more than nine months, if I'm deadly honest with you. You know, I've. Uh, yeah, obviously I, I spoke to you and it's been a it's been a torrid torrid time, but I think it was nice to to play a a tight game and actually come out on the other end. You know, so many times I played Damonetta on, on Thursday and I had 102 average and I got beat six five and he played in a fantastic last leg and that's what, what was going through my mind. I went one sixty one eighty, he's hit the one eighty and I'm thinking I'm I'm gonna have a shot at a nine and double and double out and still lose the game. Um so that was the negative part of the head but now nah, I think I needed it tonight I think I needed a close game a tough game the pressure the crowd were amazing you know it's not that busy out there but they tried to get Mr Brightside going on, on a number of occasions and uh, you know that is why I play this game you know what I mean it, th these times when I've been off over the last three months and is, is it worth it is it is it worth putting myself through all this stuff yeah it is for that that was unbelievable the match, start, the match starts you missed before you got over the line were, were, were slightly wild, shall we say. Was that the um, the nerves and the pressure of not winning coming out in those moments? That's exactly. And I'm, when I'm throwing for them doubles to win the game, I'm going, right, this will kickstart your, your season. This will kick, And you shouldn't be thinking like that. <laughs> but because I've had so... Like, obviously, because I've been off for like four or five months over the last... You know, since the match play really I've either played and I've not really gone deep in any Pro Tours or Europeans, this is my opportunity. And I, had a, I believe I've got a, quite a decent draw <coughs> if I got past uh, Ryan Sill tonight. You know, I fancied myself, myself against Josh or, or Ryan. I could put too much pressure on myself. And and they, they, they were right, they were miles away, weren't they? <laughs> Let's be honest with you, that double six before the double three, <coughs> Jesus. But uh, now I think I, I think I showed me, my class at the end. I think I showed that that fighting spirit, that battling Nathan Aspinall, that will to win his back and uh, yeah, it's just buzzing and uh, I'm going to enjoy it tonight. You touched on pressure, the fact that you are defending final money from two years ago, is that an added pressure as well that you're thinking about? I'm actually not, um, I think the one that I'm, I'm more thinking about is the grandson because I'm not even in it. <laughs> I've offered Luke Little loads of money for, for one of his passes but he won't, he won't give it me. <laughs> but um, now I think more obviously I've got a lot of big pressure moments coming up. Uh, I've got four Pro Tours to qualify for my head. I'm 64th, I'm 32nd in the European with one to go. So I think for me it's more how can you handle that pressure? Uh, I think I've handled it pretty well tonight and hope that will put me in good stead to qualify for the rest of the TV tournaments this year and you know who knows this week. Nathan, many congratulations. Cheers mate, thank you. Talk me through what it's been like the last sort of three months and up until the comeback a, a few weeks ago and, and being back on a big stage now. Amazing, you know, the, I'm not going to lie, I absolutely love the time off. You know, I mean, it's uh, the school holidays. Luckily, the school holidays were on, so I spent a lot of time with my family, a couple of holidays. But the treatment's been intense. It's been pretty much every other day. It's been tough. Um, and like I said before, part of your mind, is it worth it? Do you know what I mean? And then, like I say, you walk on today and you hear that reception. You know, joint walk-ons. They walk with Mr. Brightside. Do you know what I mean? And it, it was unbelievable. And I, I did an exhibition on Friday night and there must have been... I think I sold 350 tickets and there must have been 80 kids there. And to see their faces when they saw me, like the lit up, it, it was unbelievable. And I walked out on Friday and go, and I, I, and I did like a, a Q and A and I'm like, that's why I do it, to see their, their faces. And yeah, it was good. I needed that win tonight. You know, and hopefully that should kickstart my, my career again. You know, Nathan Aspel 17.0. Um, but yeah, it was just very happy to win. That first match back after sort of the intense treatment that you've been through, was it kind of a relief that all the treatment you've been through has been worth it? Yeah, well, I think the last three weeks I played, you know, behind, behind, yeah, behind cameras, you know, I played seven Pro Tours, two Euros, probably four, four exhibitions. So I think this is like day 22 on the bounce I played. So, hey, there's nothing there. Look, I couldn't have 18 now if I wanted to. You know what I mean? But now there's nothing there and, you know, I said to, to, to Matt, uh, Matt Port before, I said I should have done it three years ago, <laughs> really, you know what I mean? But I'm glad I've done it and I'm coming back, no pain, I'm fully fit, I feel healthy, I feel great and, uh, you know, hopefully I can, I can kick on and do what I, what I know I can do. Thank you. Nathan, given everything that's happened in the last few months, did you come into this with any real expectation at all? Um, it's a tough one really because I fancied an half decent run, I think I've not got a bad draw. If I'm deadly honest, you know, that's not being rude to anyone else. But I think I've got a quite... I fancy getting to the quarters, put it that way. 
um, and then I believe obviously Luke or Rob I'll, I'll be facing um, I think it might be Rob we'll leave that there but uh, I think Rob might, might do the job tonight but um, no I fancy getting to the quarters um, but for me it's all about game time on that stage again I keep saying it about playing doubt under pressure again um, but yeah I've absolutely loved every second of that and uh, yeah hopefully uh, more to come You've mentioned a few times you've been thinking, you know, is this all worth it? Has there been a lot of soul searching in that time that you've had off? Yeah, tons, absolutely. I mean, so much. You know, it's I'm a family guy. Everyone knows that. I love my kids. I love my missus, and you know, everyone else does. But I mean, I, I spend a lot of time with my family, um, and yeah, just to see. So I'm going to miss my daughter's birthday, for example, on Wednesday. She actually wanted me to lose tonight. <laughs> she's, a, she's seven on Wednesday, and uh, I had to say bye to her last night when I came down. And she's like, "You're gonna miss my birthday." I went in the in the best possible way. Yeah, hopefully, I want you to lose, Daddy. And you know, she has no idea. She's only seven. You know what I mean? But yeah, you miss so much as a, as a dart player, and and the differences between darts and like football or golfers. You know, we only make money if we win. You know, they they they, they make loads compared to what we make so yeah it's a lot of sacrifice and at the time we have fought while I've been off I've enjoyed my three months off I've been healthier you know I've been eating good food I've been doing running and this that, and the other and uh, yeah is it worth it the answer now <laughs> that is <laughs> I shouldn't say that sorry <laughs> Nathan in that match we've seen it before but we saw quite a lot of re grips any reason for that was it just no, the pressure I've seen it no I've seen it I'm, I, I'm a stickler for it and the PDC and all this I saw the screen in the corner of my eye. So the one, as I'm forward to the left, it was constantly, so I'd see myself instead of like the double top. And as I'm about to throw, it'll, it'll change the double top. And I kept seeing it in the corner of my eye. So then I'll stop, it'll go back to me, about to throw it, it goes back to tops. Do you know what I mean? So that had nothing to do with that. Um, which was purely down to, I could see the screen in the corner of my eye and uh, yeah, I'll uh, have to get over that for, for the next game. Does that breaking rhythm affect you? Because it, it doesn't seem to affect you. The darts are still going I in. I think it resets me. I think, it, you know, there's not... There's a, I think John Park's the one that says it, like, when he resets, he very rarely misses. And, you know, I hate doing it. It's not... It's ugly. I, I Like, I've watched games back in mind. It, it looks pretty ugly, you know what I mean? It's, it's not nice to do, and it's not nice to be in that moment. But, generally speaking, I do t tend to hit my target when, it, when I do it, so... You know, I'll just keep flicking over and uh, hopefully I win the tournament. <laughs> and you've spoken in the past about you were surprised about how much you've missed starts. Did that just give you a little bit more determination oh. to, to really kick on, especially at this time of the year? Yeah, I think obviously I wanted to get back for the World Series in September and uh, unfortunately because of what had, what had happened, I, I just couldn't make that tournament and I, I needed something to give me that buzz that I've had tonight. I've come back, I've gone pro tours. <laughs> You know, they're hard to play, you know what I mean? There's no crowd there or anything. Europeans are great, but I've not really performed that well. I've got a buzz tonight, you know what I mean? And I'm going to go over tonight very happy and I'm going to chill tomorrow. And yeah, I can't wait to, to go for all that again. Nathan, big well done. Thank Cheers, you. Mate, thank you.